My name is The Adipose, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can get two microphones working on your PC at the same time. Well greetings everyone and my name is The Adipose and like I said in the introduction I'm going to be showing you how you can get two microphones working on your PC at the same time but even better than that I'm going to show you how you can get two headphones working on your PC at the same time how you can add some little effects to your voice how you can get two um, different kind of bus routes working at the same time and a few other little tips and tricks as well and it's all thanks to this lovely little piece of software called Voice Meter um, and I'll be showing you the description and the link for that um, in a minute but this is a donationware piece of software which means it's free to download free to use and basically you pay whatever you can afford you don't have to pay but if you can afford it the designer asks that you do and this is a piece of software that is well worth um, donating to and hoping it keeps getting developed because it is such a simple and easy to use piece of software there are other, other there are other pieces of software out there that will allow you to use two microphones at the same time and two pieces two headphones and things and uh, you know they are really really good those other pieces or software but they're quite complex and you have to have a bit of an understanding of how things work and they're a bit tricky to set up this is not tricky to set up let me show you I'm gonna now I've got one microphone working just like I normally would on a PC so microphone Logitech G35 is now working and now I'm going to add a second one done if I take off the mute you can see now I've got two microphones going into my PC at the same time and if I just give that microphone a little tap you could probably now hear it, and you can see I've got two microphones going. And of course, if I if I was uh, doing a doing a show with another person sitting next to me, or maybe interviewing them, or you know, the, it's just it's just working straight away. And of course, I mentioned those headphones. Let's have a look up here. You see where it says A1 and A2. I've got A1 set to uh, my headset, and then I can just set A2 to the other headset, which is this HP here. So now I've got. Both two people, we could be both be sitting here, both speaking, the PC is picking up both of us, and both of us can hear whatever we need to um, as well. And that's been set up with, what, about four or five clicks? Very, very simple, um, very easy to use, absolutely fantastic. But wait, there is more. Now, I'm just going to mute the, um, the, the, the other microphone here so we don't get any kind of cross-contamination of the sound. But you can see absolutely that it's working. But first of all, look. You see these big sliders here? We can adjust the volume of each microphone independently. So as you'll probably find, one microphone tends to be slightly louder than the other, or one person tends to be slightly louder than the other. So you can just adjust them here until you get that volume level um, just right. And if you if you want to reset default on any of these, just double click and it goes straight back to where it was. Now this is cool. Look at this. We can actually adjust the sound of our voices as well. Um, if I pull over here, it's going to emphasize the, the low sound of my voice. If I pull over here, it's going to emphasize the high bandwidth. And of course, I'm showing you the extremes, but anything in the middle. So I can actually make my voice take on the kind of timbre that I want it to. Um, I, I could maybe kind of make it quite echoey down this side, sound like some sort of kind of radio DJ. Or maybe I can make it kind of very... Um, kind of reverb quite a, quite a lot to make give my voice kind of an ethereal and beautiful quality and again anything just kind of in the middle depending on my own personal tastes very very useful there's also this really cool audibility um uh, gadget here. Now I'm just going to talk for. I'm going to stop talking for a minute, and you'll see that my microphone has a very slight hiss, and the 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 um, the kind of volume controller there you'll see never quite goes down to the bottom. So have a look at this. You see that it hovers at about what about five or six bars. I'll show you one more time. Now what this audibility does is it adds a gate to um, that initial input and what you'll do is you'll raise it just a little bit until it gets to the point that it cuts off any noises below a certain level and what this means is you can use it to remove any hiss or low drone from your recording. So I'm just going to pull it up to about about two. You, might, you have to do a little experiment and but if I stop talking now you should see that little hiss is gone. How cool is that? But as soon as I start speaking, of course, it kicks back in, and and, and not the hiss kicks back in, but the uh, the the recording kicks back in. Um, and also, if I put this audibility up and up and up, you'll see, or you should hear, sorry, that my voice gets kind of louder and louder, but it doesn't distort; it just gets kind of bigger and bigger. Um, so you can adjust that kind of input. Um, 
uh, 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 sound there as well to give yourself that kind of that big sound and actually what I spend a lot of my time doing in post-production is just kind of taking a very low low quality low volume input and getting it up to an audible volume now this audibility knob is actually just going to do it for me in the pre-recording so it actually saves my time in the editing suite and of course I can do it separately from each microphone and in fact if you look at the other microphone here you'll see it's got a hiss going nearly all the time um, so by pulling that up just a little bit higher um, I can attempt to get rid of that but obviously it's still picking up my voice so it's not going to quite work um, while the recording's on but very very useful indeed but wait there is even more because if I get at my normal sound recording uh, tools and do you get that by just right clicking down here and clicking um, uh, oops sorry no you get that by clicking um, recording devices um, I can it now has given me an extra option for a recording uh, for a playback device which is the voice meter input um, if you set that to default device by pressing this button here then that means your PC sounds now come through this third channel here so for example whether I'm playing a computer game or whether I'm listening to music or whatever it is I can set that to come through here and again I can adjust the volume level independently which now means that the output from this program can now have one microphone two microphones and whatever other input I particularly want here and of course remember this mic this input here doesn't necessarily have to be a microphone it could be a line in control so I often set my um, I often record my PlayStation or my Xbox or my iPad on a kind of line in input and I can use this thing little nice little device here um, to be the second input what I'd love to see of course would be three hardware inputs so I can have two people speaking and um, the line in input as well and that would definitely be my feature request but even without that this is still such um, useful um, such a useful program now I've also got two buses bus a bus b now what that means is we can turn on or off individual uh tracks one two three for individual outputs now my headset and my my partner's headset are going to be bus a and if i go to uh recording uh sorry the the, the the yeah so if I, if I go to recording then this voice meter output is bus B so for example I probably don't want to hear my own voice when I'm speaking so I can just click these two buttons and now I can no longer hear my own voice but you still can because yours is coming out of the voice meter output and in the same way the computer might not whatever I'm recording might not want to hear the music I'm playing so I could just click it off there but I'll still be able to hear it because I'm still sending it to my headphones which just gives limitless options and um, in the tutorial for this program you'll see there's lots of options uh, the tutorial includes some really cool ideas with Skype that you can use um, you can just use the settings here in Skype combined with the voice meter to have two people talking at the same same time on a Skype call or you can send the music you're listening to through the Skype call as well and all sorts of little things by by looking for the the voice meter inputs here um, and the uh, the, vo the voice meter outputs there if you wish but it is such a useful tool that I very much recommend you grab it if um, recording more than one microphone input source is your thing. A fantastic little program, VB Audio software, and the tool is called Voice Meter. Donationware. Grab it for free um, and donate whatever you can afford to the maker. This is definitely a project that is worth supporting. Um, if you want me to explain anything further, explain any other little gizmos, explain how I'm using it, then do let me know in the comments section. I'm happy to help you out. Um, but otherwise, um, thanks for listening. If you found it useful, then please give the video a like and uh, do subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and, of course, examples of videos that I have made with this useful little tool. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.